Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hayek and uh, in today's video uh, I'm going to show you a practice question on uh, guessing the mechanism whether it's going to be an SN1, SN2 in combination if it exists with an E1 and E2 plus an important topic which is the rearrangement. So if you are given the following equation you have the alkyl halide you have the nucleophile or base and then you have to guess the products in this case the very first thing that you have to start with is by looking at the alkyl halide and determine the degree of the alkyl halide which is in this case it's a second degree alkyl halide so for second degree alkyl halide it could be any of these so this is not helpful now the second step you look at the nucleophile or the base so methanol is considered as weak nucleophile and it's also a weak base so in this case if I have a weak nucleophile with a second degree alkyl halide this is going to be an SN1 okay and a, sec and a second degree alkyl halide with a weak base is going to be an E1 as well. So in this case, I'm going to get a mixture of SN1 and E1. So I will have a substitution product or products, and I will have elimination product or products. Now we know that SN1 and E1, they are two steps mechanism and they share the same first step which is the formation of the carbocation so the first step would be the formation of the carbocation by cleaving heterolytic cleavage of this bond here between the carbon and the bromide and therefore we get the following carbocation so we get the plus here here we have a methyl here we have a methyl so now in the presence of the nucleophile let's first start with the SN1 product so this weak nucleophile so we know that oxygen with its lone pair will share one electron with the carbocation now a very important remark here is that here I have a stereogenic center and therefore I'm going to get a racemic mixture so in this case I'm going to have two products now of course here this is is going to be two steps since there is the elimination of this hydrogen that was covered in previous video so you can go back to the uh, practice on SN1 and SN2 mechanism to see the one missing step here and we get the first compound which is a substitution compound will be first I will just say that the OCH3 will be to the front and if you just go guys and determine whether it's an R or S you will find that it's an S in addition to the enantiomer which is going to be the R of course now in this case OCH3 is facing backward and that's going to be an R so this these are the substitution products of course here I have two beta hydrogens I have this beta hydrogen which is I'll draw it in green and another beta hydrogen that I'm going to draw in orange and now for the corresponding elimination products I'm going to draw them using these colors just to be in reference to which hydrogen was removed now if I start with removing this hydrogen first so the base will just take this hydrogen and this hydrogen will give its electron to this carbon here I'm going to have this elimination product 
so that I will draw in orange so you guys can refer to which hydrogen was removed okay so in this case the double bond will be here now the green the oxygen will share its lone pair with the hydrogen to remove it and the hydrogen will just give its electron to this carbon here and it's going to form the following elimination product which is going to be this one so the double bond is here so so far I have four products I have two substitution products which are stereoisomers and I have two elimination products which are constitutional isomers now do you think these are the only products that I would get from this reaction pause the video for a second and try to think will you get more products okay so the answer is yes and the product it comes from the rearrangement now this hydrogen will move to this carbon here and the carbocation will form on this carbon so just to make it clearer I'm going to draw the new carbocation which will result from what we call rearrangement process and I will explain why this happens so the new carbocation that I get is the following carbocation and this is what we call the rearrangement step rearrangement step now why would this happen if you notice here the carbocation is on a second degree carbon however here is on a third degree carbon and as you know a carbocation on a third degree carbon is more stable than on a second degree carbon and therefore this will rearrange to give a more stable carbocation so now in the presence of methanol what do you think I'm going to get I will get two substitution products that here also I will not draw the missing step so the first substitution product will be so here I will decide to put the methyl to the front send the OCH3 to the back of course we should not forget this methyl here and here if you guys again uh, find how should we name it it's going to be R for this carbon here and I'm also going to get the S stereoisomer by just the methyl on the back and the O CH3 facing forward now for the elimination products I'm going to use the same color code method here and yes on purpose I'm going to draw this one in green because removing this hydrogen again it will give me a double bond in here which is already a product that was given from this carbocation so I will draw it in green here because it's, go it's going to give me the same product which I'm not going to draw it and will now draw this beta hydrogen to this carbocation and now the elimination of this hydrogen by the base here so I'll just draw the curved arrows that will take this hydrogen here and the double bond will sit here and a new product will form which is the following and now this is not similar to these two elimination products so what do you think guys do you think I'm done the answer is no because I have a another beta hydrogen here which is the one drawn in purple and now when I remove this hydrogen here 
I will form a double bond in here. So I will have the following product. Now the double bond will be outside the ring in here. So as you can see guys, to answer this kind of question, it's not as simple as you might be thinking, but following the rules, you will get to the correct answer. So the answer here would be eight different products.